let's talk about lunar arts and um and the 90 percent of men okay so luna the issue with you is just you are emotionally unavailability that's your energy signature married men men who are divorced they're emotionally unavailable okay that means they're available for sex they're sexually available um but they're emotionally unavailable that means that they have no capacity emotionally to they have no capacity for you emotionally whenever you're attracting i, I believe i've got a video on the channel why you attract married men or have i done that already i have no idea i think i've taken because i've taken down three quarters of of the work on my videos because i want to do upgrades on them um but when we find ourselves attracting men who are married or even in any way emotionally unavailable uh yes there's a video on my channel called you are emotionally unavailable and you don't even know it so luna go and watch that video you are emotionally unavailable and you don't even know it Right, so go and watch that because you are emotionally unavailable. When it's your energy signature, you're resonating at the frequency of men that are emotionally unavailable, especially if it's coming at you at, at you know, like that rate of 90% is very high. You know, every woman is gonna have to deal with some married man trying to get into a knickers. Standard, you know, if you're single, even married, there's always going to be some guy who just wants a piece of that, you know, but it shouldn't be at 90%. It should be 5% or 10%, you know, but 90% tells me that you are emotionally unavailable. So there is some healing work that needs to be done, you know, and with us as women, we feel that as humans, to be fair, we feel that if we are sexually available, that means we, we, we want to be held. We want somebody to to kiss us, to hold us, because that is all sex, by the way. Um, you know, we, we, we feel that, you know, we are, we're emotionally available, you know, but we're not, we're not emotionally available. Emotional availability is really the capacity to hold space for another in, 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 a, in, a, in a myriad of ways, you know, hold space to, to to be loved and what will happen is when you do meet a man that is emotionally available you're going to find that you don't actually find him attractive uh so there is an issue with um you know your 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 position for sure for sure for sure for sure for sure so i would recommend that you call one of the coaches and have a discovery call and let's see the source of that and give you some tools to move past that. <laughs> uh, non a shame because I never want to feel like I'm chasing a man. Well, I understand. Um, I do. But understand that... Here's what I want you to understand. And I want everybody to understand this. The man and the woman are allies. The problem is the problem, <laughs> okay? I think what we've done in the modern days, we've made um, the man the problem, the woman the problem. And as such, we're not able to find a place of balance or a place where we can meet halfway. So when I say, you know, the man is not the problem, you are not the problem, there is a problem. And the problem in my estimation right now in this call is ignorance we have you you have zero education so it's the man and the woman fighting ignorance in order to meet and be, and make love and create love right um and when i say make love i'm not talking about it in the sexual way that we know i'm talking about making it you know cooking it cooking love making love um you know to cook it you need to understand how to cook it you need to have the ingredients to cook it. A lot of men and a lot of women are just out here crossing their fingers and hoping for the best. Then, of course, we've got the whole kind of surgeons of, of, of dating coaches and everybody's got an opinion. You know, you've got uh, a million and one opinions about how dating should be done. And, you know, as long as you've got a phone and you think you said you've got something to say most people will just open their mouth and say, right? And because we're a generation that is very lost in that we're not fathered or mothered properly 
anyone that says it emphatically enough, strongly enough, we believe them. And we go and create. So we've got a little bit from there and a little bit of that and a little bit, which is why I created the academy because I wanted to teach ladies systematically, precept upon precept, how relationships work. Because when you understand, then you will soon understand that a lot of what we're interpreting as, oh, now I'm going to have to chase them, is really more to do with, okay, now I have to overcome this ignorance problem to get to get us him and I together to a place where he can actually make a decision about me and I can actually make a decision about him without these ignorant dark spots these 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 dark areas kind of in the way so I want you to think about it more like you're not chasing him, but you're chasing away the obstacles that present themselves to love, to connection. And because you are the more enlightened one, it is upon the more enlightened one to, to make provision and to be flexible in and around the, the problem. Because what will happen is eventually men will catch up and other women will catch up and the world will catch up to relationships are done so right there's a way relationships are done just like there's a way you do your job you can't just come off the the street and become a doctor because you like it or you think you learned something on google about medicine there's a way to become a doctor there's a way to become a lawyer there's a way to become a retail assistant there's a pathway to getting to somewhere and relationships are no different so when myself and people like myself get it into the heads of the general public that no we can't just feel our way around and hope for the best as a protocol um, because a lot of people are finding love by feeling their way, but 